Hello everyone, welcome to Quickly Learn. In this video, we are going to see CyberArk PAM related information. If you are willing to make your career in cyber security, then it is one of the technology which uh, you should consider. It's very easy to learn and a lot of job opportunities are available in the market. So in upcoming slide, we'll be giving you more details about it. So topics we'll be covering in this video, uh, what is PAM? So overview of the PAM we'll be covering in uh, first topic. Then if you want to go for the certification, what all certifications are available in the CyberArk PAM and how you can clear those certification with our 100% passing guarantee program. Uh, third core components, if you want to use the PAM technology, what all components in it should be installed in your environment and uh, you know how you can make it more secure we'll, see, we'll be seeing that then how the pam works once you have all the core components how the pam actually works so we'll be covering that one then fifth one is additional components are also there in the uh, pam so uh, in core components there are four core components but addition to that there are some more components available those are optional depending on company's budget and company's requirement they purchase uh, those components and uh, if you want to learn this technology so whether jobs are available okay so that information also will be sharing in this video and the seventh one will be contact details if you want to contact us to clear the certification or you know to go for the course or if you want to go for the job guarantee program those details uh, will be sharing now before uh, we see the certification and the you know how it works and uh, job guarantee program you need to understand what is privilege access management if you are uh, uh, new to the IT or you, you are not from the cyber security background so let's see the basic of it so related to the uh, privilege access management So in IT industry, we have a different different technologies available and every technology has its own administrator account. Now, when we say administrator account, it is a super user account, which has uh, all the permission. So definition, if you see a super user is a role that is allowed to do anything in the system. So it is a good thing also and the bad thing also, like if your intention is good, then you will be using it for the right activities but if uh, you know cyber uh, attackers get the access to the privilege account then they can do the bad things over there dangerous things over there so we have to make sure this privilege access is given to the right person for the right amount of time to the right system so it's very critical uh, permission examples if uh, you're using a unix system then your root account is a super user account to that we call it as a privilege account also then in windows uh, we have an administrator account it's a windows admin account which uh, has the all the permissions uh, then if you are having a website uh, so to run the website to make the changes in the website admin account is there and uh, related to the database administration sys account are also there so like that whatever system you are using it has a privilege account and that privilege account security uh, happens through the privilege access management now let's move to the cyber art certifications what all certifications are there if you learn the technology what all certification you need to complete so first certification is the defender certification we can say it's a primary certification uh, earlier we used to get the uh, trusty certification also but uh, they have stopped that certification so it's no longer valid so don't go for the trusty certification uh, first certification you need to complete the defender one after completing the defender one you become eligible for the sentry so sentry certification it's a next level certification 
and once you have defender and sentry you can start practicing for the cd that is a cyber art delivery engineer so for all this uh, certification will be helping you if you are looking for a certification guarantee so that guarantee also we can provide you if you want to get into the it want to get certified want to get job so job guarantee program is also available so related to that uh, in upcoming slide i'll be sharing that information but let's uh, see the technical part first related to the cyber arc so in cyber arc four important core components are there first core component is the vault server so vault server we can say it is the heart of the cyber arc pam where all the passwords related to your server your database uh, your application your website your uh, cyber security devices network devices can be stored so it's a highly secured environment we install that vault server on a separately isolated server and uh, it is the very important server in the cyber arc uh, technology then we have a pbwa so it's a password vault web application it is a portal by using which uh, we can access all the components from a single window by using the pbwa we can access uh, the vault server we can access the cpm we can access the psm and lot of administrative activity we can perform using the pbwa so we get the graphical user interface which is really easy to understand once your concepts are clear using the pbwa you can say uh, you can perform a uh, lot of activities then cpm is a central policy manager so we install the cpm software on one server and from that server all the password management related activities happen uh, then we have a privilege session manager so by using the privilege session manager we can access our target machine uh, psm it gives us the isolated and uh, very secured access to that target machine when we say target machine it could be your windows machine or a linux machine or your website or your application okay so to that we call it as a target machine now let's see how these core components are connected to each other and how it works together before uh, we see all these steps let's understand the components so this is your vault server where all the passwords are stored uh, then let's say this is your laptop from this laptop you want to access the cyber arc environment so in previous slide we have covered that we get the pbwa server and we get the url basically so from our chrome browser or from our browser we can access the pbwa using the link and once we get the access to the pbwa will be able to see all the components of a cyber arc so from our it machine from our uh, laptop or a desktop we should access the pbw first then understand this psm so this is your privilege session manager and using this psm server you can access your databases your windows server your unix server if routers and switches you have you can access that vmware then your cloud servers and then uh, mainframe system so these are the components highlighted over here now let's see how it works so as i said first you need to access the pbw url from your laptop once you access that one with the https uh, you need to select which machine you want to access so this pbwa will redirect you to the psm server server so psm is basically a windows server operating system is running on it and from here you can take different different uh, accesses like to access the windows server you will get the rdp session for unix server you 
can access it using the SSH. So here, fourth thing you can see uh, the PSM fetches the account credential from the vault. So all your passwords are stored over here. So to access the machine, you will be getting the uh, username and password related thing from the vault server and then access is possible then whatever activity you do everything gets recorded in the psm server once you close the uh, session or once you stop the activity being on a target machine uh, all the recorded sessions will be uploaded to the vault server then there are additional components available you can have a dr server in your environment if your primary vault goes down this is the secondary server which can give you the continuous access to the vault uh, for redundancy purpose it is required then pta uh, it's a privileged threat analytics any suspicious activity happening in your environment so pta will identify that one and it will notify uh, suspicious activities okay in some cases it can stop the activities directly also uh, then psmp is there that is privileged session manager for ssh in your environment if you have more unique servers and if you are looking for a, a lightweight solution of the psm then psmp is available by using this feature directly from a put t session you can access your Unix machine. You don't have to open the PBWA and then take the RDP through the PSM. It's a you know heavy load application. So PSMP, it's a lightweight application. Then application access manager. This is also additional component. If you don't want to hard code your password in your application, uh, this uh, application access manager component is recommended and this uh, you, by using this one you can keep the password on a vault and you will be getting a link which you have to uh, add it into the your application code and this way every time whenever the password is required it will fetch the password from the uh, vault now related to the cyber arc related jobs so with a regular course you will be getting a job assistance from our end and if you're looking for a job guarantee program that job guarantee program is also available uh, we'll be providing you the five year support as well so it's not that if uh, only one time job will be providing to make a switch to the higher salary and higher position for that one also will be giving you the support under this job guarantee program now if you are a fresher and looking for a job in it uh, yeah it is possible uh, with a regular course uh, you'll be getting a job assistance and for the freshers we have a job guarantee program also available so even if you are a 2008 pass out 2000 you know 10 pass out 2015 pass out with our guidance you can easily enter into the IT industry. So if you are a fresher, uh, you can contact us, we can help you. Uh, then if you are experienced in IT, you are working on a cloud or you are working as a system administrator and looking to switch into the you know uh, next generation technology, booming technology, uh, want to switch into the cyber security. So in that case also, we can help you to get that job uh, then if you are a uh, from the, the non IT background then don't worry even if you have completed BA become or any other degree we can help you to get into the IT 100% job guarantee program is also available and if you are if you feel that you are stuck in a BPO jobs on a less uh, salary then BPO to IT program also we run and there we help you to get into the IT industry. These are our contact details. Uh, you can WhatsApp us. Uh, 
whatsapp number i have given you because you know uh, we get calls from across the globe so it's better to s s initiate our discussion through the whatsapp and then uh, depending on the you know slot and the appointment we can contact or a phone you can email us also with your requirement so get trained get certified get placed all these uh, facilities are available from our end and uh, as discussed earlier five years job support also we provide thank you thank you guys